even as young people, let's continue to support the work uh, the Lord has given our president to do. He may have been elected, but he cannot do this work alone. The work is immense, and that is why we need your hands, young people, our youth, the people of this great nation, so that Kenya can move forward. I want to just encourage the young people that let's continue embracing this work. Let's continue coming here. We have um, a college, a university that is going to be opened. We have a TVET that is now running. Let's get, uh, you know, some of the skills that we need. Today when I walked into the studio, I was being told of the girl that, uh, that, that does the, the news and everything. And it's not that she has been to any university of any college. Not that I'm not saying that it's not good to go to university or college. But even sometimes when you don't have the opportunity to get there, we can start somewhere because each one of us has been given the talent that God has given us. And I want to thank the church also, thank you Bishop Moffat and the rest of the church for supporting a Good News Mission even in the country. And I must say that even as the office of the First Lady will continue to work with this organization to make sure that we move things forward. And with those few remarks, I now declare the Good News Mission Church refurbished hall officially opened. Thank you so much, and may the Lord bless you. Allow me to thank you most sincerely for having your ministry in this country. 29 years of the great work that you have continued to work, especially with the youth. I know last year we had the big conference, the annual conference that you have with the youth here in Kasarani, and you have continued to speak to the youth. And one of the other programs that I know maybe many people may not be aware is the program that you work with the men and women behind bars in the prisons, teaching them the word of God and teaching them, telling them that, you know, it doesn't matter even if they are behind bars. There is a God in heaven who can change their lives. And I know that many of them have been changed through the courses, the theological courses that you have continued to teach them. And for that, we say thank you so much.